Hi Aries and welcome to your Scorpio full moon tarot reading. Um, the Scorpio full moon is happening around the 18th of May and this moon is really bringing you in touch with your deep deep emotions. You are going to be craving um, much more substance in your interactions and your connections and there's also going to be a desire to heal old wounds and um, like let things go transformation because Scorpio is um, the eighth house which is all about transformation so let's see which house which area of your life this Scorpio full moon is most likely to impact okay so we have the fifth house coming out for you guys and this is your desires your passion your creativity um some of you this could be a big big desire to heal or let go of um, romantic relationships and start pursuing things that uh, really make you happy all right this so for aries there's this deep desire for happiness but not just like oh i want to be happy like I want to live my passion. I want to fulfill my desires. I want to be bigger than I am. I want to explore. I want to experience. So you guys are really being invigorated with a lot of passionate energy. And um, fifth house, you know, that is about romance and creativity and all those uh, emotions and energy. But in the context of this reading, I really feel this is more of what's happening inside of you, Aries, where we're coming more into life, more in tune with ourself and what we desire, what we want, and letting go of just what didn't work. Like, it's at this point, like, you know what? Bygones be bygones. I just want to move on and move ahead. So let's pull some uh, more cards to see exactly how this is playing out for you guys. Oops. Okay, so we have Roots, which is all about stability. And we have a positive shift. Nice. So you got uh, full moon energy coming out. Aries, there's some lovely things shifting and changing for you with this Scorpio full moon. Some of you will feel this in big ways and others of you this will be more subtle. But the shift that's taking place, the transformation that's happening, it, it has roots to it, okay? So with that coming out, it's letting me know there's a foundation that has been created and this is something that's going to be with you for a while, okay? You're really going to grow and expand through this change, through this transformation. It's just going to be with you, but it's a very positive shift for Aries, okay? So let's pull a few guys. Wow, Aries. Some of you, this is big, big changes coming in with the tower. Um, next out, we have the stars, but this is positive. Like, ultimately, the end destination brings you a great deal of happiness. This is like what you wanted. There's definitely an element of it. Like, this is what you wanted to happen. And look what comes out under positive shift. Ten of Wands, heavy energy, feeling burdened, feeling overwhelmed, feeling stretched, overextended. That's where the positive shift is coming into your life, Aries. So whatever area of your life you have been experiencing or feeling this Ten of Wands energy, that's where the positive shift is coming in. That positive shift is going to be with you for a while. There's roots that are going to grow and you're going to have a lot of happiness and fulfillment within this change shift transformation okay and uh tower sitting under this fifth house big change aries big time change so let's see this from a spiritual perspective potential lessons uh, being received activations overcoming certain things so let's see aries All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. Paradigm shift. 
You want to know what this would be in a standard tarot deck? The tower. And what do we have right here? The tower. So yeah, big, big change for Aries. Big time transformation and shifting. Ooh, nice. Past life portal. Um, this here, Aries, is letting me know that the energy coming in through this Scorpio full moon has to do with past life. Now, with this card, it could be a lesson that was not completed, a cycle that was not completed past life, and now here it's coming in to this part of your life journey to be completed. Or this could be a positive karma, blessings that are owed to you, and they're now coming in right now at this point on your life journey, but they were earned in your previous incarnation. Next out, wow, karmic entanglements. Yeah, Aries, you guys are clearing some heavy energy and moving into <clears throat> a much more prosperous happy type of experiencing and now we have the intuitions healer so this could be a water sign okay cancer scorpio pisces but with the intuition healer this is also somebody who is going to help you aries um <clears throat> they're a very warm person they are wise, they know a lot about life, they easily relate to others, and something about this person is they're either going to talk to you and help you make sense of everything, help you um, through this transition that's going to take place. Um, this person could be the one that changes everything for you, that opens a door for you. Um, like if we're trying to get a new job or something along those lines, this could be the person that you deal with because this intuition healer sits right under this ten of wands and positive shift. So this person has everything to do with this positive shift, okay? But being a general reading, this could go the other way where the positive is coming in for you, Aries, the positive shift. And if this was the person that was burdening, burdening you, making life difficult, stressing you out, you're shifting this person out of your experience. It was like a, a karmic entanglement from a past life and you've completed that and so now paradigm shift tower energy everything falls away the new comes in and it's much more stable a lot more happiness and uh contentment in this and it's long term aries i don't feel like you know there's just between full moon to full moon um that this is taking place it's like the shifting of all this energy is taking place between now and the next full moon, which is around June 16th. And um, you, it moves you into like a period of prosperity, a period of harmony. And you have definitely cleared up some old karmic energy from past life, like these karmic entanglements. And also with this energy, it's like you've got to choose to rise above situations and people to totally clear that. This person right here, the intuition healer, may help you with that, may be coming into your life over the course of, you know, this full moon cycle and they really help you with this. You could even be seeking this person out through Reiki, through a, a personal reading of some kind, okay? Or this is somebody you know or somebody's spirit just brings into your life. Or this could be where you're just watching something on YouTube or reading um, an article or something and it just touches your soul and it speaks to you and it just allows all the dots to connect and you're like, aha, I get it. I finally understand what's going on here. And I will point this out, Aries. This is a big time for you, this Scorpio full moon to the Sagittarius full moon, because um, in the dice, you have two major arcana. In the cards, you have three major arcana and one, um, you know, person energy right here. So this is a bigger deal. I don't feel this is just something subtle. There's big shifting. Some of you, this could just be all the way around where you feel by the time we get to that Sagittarius full moon, that you are somebody else, that you know, um, you've really shifted, a lot's changed for you internally. That's what the Scorpio full moon energy is for and all about, is for that transformation within, to purge the superficial, to purge what no longer serves, and expand into more of um, like your spiritual 
consciousness and experiencing people soul to soul. There's a deep desire for that for everybody through this uh, Scorpio full moon cycle. Now, Aries, let's <clears throat> pull a few more cards here. All right, so yeah, look at that, inner calling. This is waking you up to the within, the internal, um, which we've already talked about, and it's like, I want true happiness. I want to live my passion. I want to live my desires. I want to fulfill my bucket list. And um, you're shifting out of this karmic cycle, these energies you had to clear, and you've really come into a deep understanding. And that understanding is coming forth from soul into your conscious mind f uh, over this full moon cycle, okay? And it's leading you to things that are more in line to what you are seeking because inner calling with passionate energy, it's like some of you, I feel, could... Um, It'd be starting your own business or you just have a really clever idea or completely changing your career path because what you're doing you might be good at but there's something else that just calls to you and that would be attached to past life okay this energy could be coming in this way where now Aries it's time to pick up where you left off past life with some sort of career or interest and because of that energy that experience you're going to be a killer at it this time around all right i open you now this is a pisces energy intuition healer could be pisces yeah aries there is definitely somebody um, coming into your life or already in your experience water energy that's going to help you with this somehow some way and lastly, we have Capricorn. I teach you. Wow, Aries. This may be um, another energy coming in where as the healer here with the Pisces is internal healing, internal understanding, spiritual growth and expansion. This person is more about the earth, right? Capricorn. It's worldly matters, material, finance, career, um, teaching, learning. Aries, there's a, a couple of people coming into your reality or are or, or already present. They're going to help you with this uh, transition, this transformation, this shift forward, this big change for some of you. My goodness, with these cards. But this is like your destiny. This is what you're meant to do. The way your path unfolds, Aries, over these next um, 30 days is exactly what is supposed to happen. It's right in alignment with your soul path, with your life journey, and it's changing you. And by the time we get to the Sagittarius full moon, you're going to be somebody else, okay? So, Aries, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.